we're here at Citrix Synergy 2017 in Orlando, Florida, and we're visiting the iGel booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at Citrix Synergy? Absolutely, thanks for the opportunity. So uh, iGel is a uh, endpoint management software company. We're headquartered in Germany and uh, actually been at the thin quiet kind of endpoint management game for about 20 years and uh, really making a big push uh, into the software to find thin quiet and into the US over the last year. And so uh, what we're showing here at the booth today is all of the great software innovation that we've come out with over the last uh, say six months. So a real significant amount of development and product enhancements that we've uh, brought to market. So it starts with a 64-bit operating system uh, that we, we brought to market um, back in December. And then the ability to take that 64-bit operating system and put it on just about any x86 device. So the ability to plug that into really any kind of x86 hardware that's got two gigs of RAM and two gigs of hard drive and have it run the iGel operating system. But th then most importantly, it's actually the ability for us to manage that. And so that's our management suite, UM Universal Management Suite, UMS. And so we're showing that uh, console and the ability to really control all, all, the, all those endpoints that either have iGel OS on it or the Windows fat client and manage it in a single pane of glass with a super intuitive, simple, drag and drop policy-based approach. So all of that's on display here. We also have our friends from Samsung who uh, are the leaders in the all-in-one category. They decided uh, back in May of last year that iGel was the right software to put on their uh, all-in-one product. So we have them featured at the booth. And uh, yeah, so we're showing all that off. And then probably most importantly, in terms of the innovation yes. is our UD Pocket. And actually that is a, uh, a thumbnail sized uh, device. Let me grab one actually, uh, shoot. Here's, here's one right here. So this is uh, the UD Pocket. This is just the packaging. We go to market around three premises, simplifying endpoint management, being smart, so lots of ROI around it, and then security, endpoint security and cybersecurity, obviously very important. We have a read-only operating system, 64-bit, never been breached. So inside of here is this teeny little hardened, shockproof, waterproof thumb drive. So you plug that in, and you into a USB port, you boot to it, and you have yourself really the world's smallest micro thin client. And then the ability to be able to manage that, like I said, with the universal management uh, console. The other piece that we're showing is iGel's cloud gateway, which is essentially the ability to manage not only devices that are on the corporate network, but any device that has an internet IP address, right, will now show up through this cloud gateway and be able to be managed in the same way that we manage devices that are on network. So very powerful, opens up lots of new use cases around work from home and uh, people that are mobile. So really those are the, the three big innovations. Again, it's the uh, operating system, 64-bit, the UD Pocket, the ability to put that operating system on this little device, the management console, and then also the cloud gateway. And so I see you have a uh, Tesla in the background. Can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on with that? Yeah, so one of the things that we've uh, decided to do globally is actually just try to elevate uh, iGel a little bit more. So people that might be considering other thin client, you know, historically, people are looking at Dell or Weiss or HP. And so we're in a, in a mode, we want more people to be aware of iGel. So uh, in the, in the uh, vein of software defined, uh, we have decided to give away Tesla. And so, uh, Tesla is obviously the future of driving and software defined, autonomous, a car that actually gets better, right? So, sort of like the iGel operating system. So what we did was uh, we, we picked out a Tesla, not only a Tesla, but actually the P100D. So the quickest, safest, smartest, longest driving uh, Tesla. And uh, we're um, having people fill out a survey, get a little bit of information about them, and they have a chance uh, after they take our, our quick demo of the management console to be entered in to win uh, the Tesla P100D, which is a $145,000 car. And uh, at, we will give that car away at uh, VMworld. So it's a very good chance, actually, there's only a, maybe a thousand people that have qualified at this point. Uh, and then we'll run it through the summer. And so it's a very uh, significant prize. And we think that it uh, is a nice parallel between our software defined thin client approach and what Tesla obviously has done with a car in terms of moving uh, us forward around uh, electric. but the important thing is, is the uh, software to find uh, 
experience that Tesla delivers. So nice parallel, very powerful, and uh, we're, we're uh, having fun uh, telling both stories, if you will. Cool. Um, is there something that we could take a look at the product itself? Absolutely. So uh, we're lucky enough today to have uh, one of the two of our uh, technology evangelists. We have Doug Brown, uh, who works for us globally. And our U.S. technology evangelist is a guy named Jeff Kahlberg. He's here in the booth with us right now. And uh, he would love to show you uh, all the things I just talked about. That's one of the powerful things. If you haven't uh, kind of compared us to Dell Weiss Device Manager or HP, when people actually see the console, they see how intuitive it is, how powerful it is, and some of the things they can do really contextually with security, that's when the light bulb goes off. And then, of course, when you bring this into the equation, they see, hey, I don't have to go buy thousands of new devices. I can buy this. This is a $169 product, and it comes with our management uh, solution, so you can save companies a lot of money uh, and also uh, really improve the ability to manage devices at enterprise scale. So I'd love to introduce you to Jeff and have him show you uh, what we're doing and actually show you the product. Great. So what are you going to show us? Well, I think uh, today we're going to go ahead and start with uh, a, a review of what it is that makes iGel so special. And iGel Technology being a software company, okay, very much focused on putting together solutions that are good for the enterprise and, and do a lot to, to, to help their daily workflows and, and make sure everybody's more productive and at the same time serving money. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the management system again and what we're looking at here on the screen right here. Uh, is an Agile Thin client running the uh, our management interface. Uh, this is the tool that people use to work with the Thin clients that are out and about in their organization. And what we're going to do is take a look here. Uh, I've got a Thin client here on the right that is a, a factory defaulted Thin client. Uh, we're now going to take this Thin client. We're going to go ahead and reconfigure this thing. And on the so inside the management console, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go take our device, which is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and deploy this device. To my, uh, to my London office. So we'll grab this right here and I'll go ahead and drag this off and drop it off in London. Okay, and we'll go ahead and move this and I'll tell the management system that I want to go ahead and have the Thin client perform this update right now. When I go ahead and do that, what we're seeing on the right hand side here, we're seeing this Thin client get fully deployed for our London office, including locking down the device, changing our wallpaper to a London wallpaper so that we know we're in London. Okay. It's full configuration, uh, removing any kind of aspect for an end user to change a configuration. Anything that they want to do is now completely uh, handled and, and managed by the management system. So here we see we've got a connection to the Citrix storefront. Okay, We've got a uh, change to a London time zone where it's uh, late at night. Uh, any access to the access to setup, which would have been in the lower left-hand corner, has now been removed essentially locking it down. If I come back over here, we say we can look at that thin client here. If I wanted to uh, uh, go ahead and take this thin client and I needed to say shadow it, for example, because I wanted to provide support for an end user, I can go ahead and right click and I can shadow this device. One of the things that we've added over the last uh, recently is the ability to shadow a device using a secure tunnel. So we're actually making a connection, making a recording or making a log entry as to who's making this connection, okay, and who did it and what it is that they shouted. We don't record the sessions. That, that works with other tools, but the idea is to be able to track that we've actually done that. So, so here we go, we're seeing this device over here. If I were to take this device down and say, hey, let's go ahead and, and reassociate this. Maybe this device is gonna get redeployed, in this case, to our, our New York officer, or we can go ahead and just simply take this, drag and drop it to our New York location, and we'll go ahead and click on this. We'll let those settings take effect now, okay? And we'll now see this thin client go ahead and reconfigure itself for New York. And we see that on the thin client. We're also seeing that happen inside this shadow session right here. It's actually going to close right up. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and reestablish that connection to that thin client by right clicking here and going and taking a shadow and connecting that. And then here we go. Now we have our New York office here. So uh, cool. it's, remind everybody that the way this works is a very powerful tool, this management system, in terms of the approach that we use. It's a policy-based approach. We create profiles. Profiles are snippets of a configuration, so something as simple as a time server can be a, a, a configuration. Could also be that we, we set up shadowing as a profile. Could be the Citrix connection as a profile. Could be time zone as a profile. We associate those profiles with the management system here. I go in here and I, I created a directory tree for my enterprise. I called it enterprise. Uh, if, it was a, if I was a company, I'd probably name it after my company. Okay? And at that level, I've gone ahead and associated different aspects of that configuration. As I said, a time server, uh, a base configuration to lock down the device, a shadowing profile, a okay? 
uh, different things that we need, perhaps some special network settings, network security settings. I've associated there. When I moved into New York, I went ahead and picked up uh, an Eastern time zone in the US. I picked up New York wallpaper. Okay, and then of course when I moved between locations, all that happened automatically. We have the ability to profile devices inside this management system. So when a device shows up, it'll automatically contact the management system, automatically place itself inside this directory tree without me having to do anything additional other than just boot the device. It allows an organization or a user, a single person to manage hundreds of, or tens of thousands of devices, hundred thousand devices around the world and spend very little time doing it. There's all this automation built into the system. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to uh, show this to VM blog and uh, we hope you have a great show. Very good. Thank you.